What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment. And here's my review of Apple TV Plus documentary feature, Beastie Boys Story. Hey, before you watch this review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. First up, I would like to say thank you to Apple TV Plus for granting me the screener to this new docu. You gotta fight for your ride to party. It's party, dog, not potty. Get out of here. Okay, so if you're too young to understand who the Beastie Boys are, maybe for whatever reason, you've never heard of them. Well, by the time you finished watching this documentary Beastie Boys story, your knowledge of this iconic band will be complete. Your cup will overflow. You won't even need to Wikipedia them ever again. Hell, you might even end up Spotifying many of their classic hits. But if you already are die-hard fans who can recite their song's lyrics by heart, well, this is a sweeping and quintessential documentary that you're gonna whatcha 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 wanna see and you'll definitely want to add the blu-ray whenever that comes out to your collection of beastie boys memorabilia because this is a definite must-have produced by grammy award winner jason baum and amanda adelson directed by oscar winner spike jones beastie boys members mike d and ad rock share with you the full story of their band and 40 years of friendship in this live documentary experience, Beastie Boys Story, which is set to premiere on the heels of the 26th anniversary of the release of Beastie Boys' number one charting 1994 album, Ill Communication. And it also reunites Beastie Boys with their longtime friend and collaborator, Spike Jones, over 25 years after directing the music video of the album's immortal hit single, Sabotage. I don't remember if I've ever watched so-called live documentary. Maybe this is my first experience. Well, you know what they say, there's a first time for everything. I'm not sure where Spike Jones and Mike D and Ad Rock held this big event, but man, they were consistently energetic. They had to, if you wanna keep the audiences sitting in those seats, engage and entertain for two whole hours. Sometimes Mike D would come down to where the crowds are and literally throw props at the direction of Ad Rock. And sometimes a stage handler would wheel another prop in. But for sure, the big screen behind them is there so that Spike can project the right video reels or the right images at just the right time to accompany Mike D and Ad Rock's speech. What I think it lacks, or perhaps it's more of a missed opportunity, is that they did not arrange it so that the big screen would also have big screen real-time images of Mike D and Ad Rock as they speak when they're just speaking. You see, both Ad Rock and Mike D are naturally funny, and they would use their bodies or physical gestures to catch a few laughs here and there. And so the audiences who sit middle row all the way to the back can only make out a few tiny things about what's happening on the stage. But other than that, I think live documentary allows Mike D and Ad Rock to just be free about adding their own spice to their story as they're telling it. Kind of like a Broadway theatrical performance. Even though there are teleprompters and clearly they've rehearsed the whole thing, some of the technical hiccups that happen along the way inadvertently only make them more personable and fun. This documentary in its entirety is unfiltered, it's intimate, and they don't miss a single detail. Part of me is kind of shocked that they would even disclose how they regret the way things went down between them and former member Kate, or how they and manager Russell Simmons 
drifted apart. But that is what I appreciate about Beastie Boys' story in that they don't sugarcoat it. And because of this documentary also, you will get a better idea, a better sense of what artists generally go through. Sure, Beastie Boys are famous, but sometimes albums don't sell. You can be a hot commodity right now, but tomorrow you're yesterday's news. That's how tough this business is. So it's still a hard knock life, even for them. If only this documentary had been done back when MCA was still alive, though. Man, it would have been extra great if there had been the trio up there on the stage. You feel me? But you know what? MCA's death provides this documentary its emotional and life affirming ending. So, yes. Go check out Beastie Boys' story on Apple TV+. I guarantee you won't regret it.